I don't understand. Yes. No. No. Maybe. Goodbye. 欢迎到中国. Willkommen in Deutschland. How can I help you? From uh, the Laboratory for Animated Technologies from Auckland, Bioengineering Institute, and University of Auckland. Mark? Thank you. So the face, Auckland Face Simulator project is really, OK, we can, we're working on babies, but then we're also looking at the face as a human-computer interaction. So what happens if you wanted to put a face on Siri? And also the type of thing if you wanted to do a, um, like a human-computer interaction with a face, so you, you can, and also for psychological experiments. So this is one of these faces that's kind of um, running live, so it's watching me. And they're pretty detailed, so we can kind of really zoom Zoom right in on them. Let's prove it too far and then go down, move the light around. So, and now we swap to another view. Now we've got full control over these faces. Like we can make them pretty much do any sort of expression that you want. So, um, and they're quite expressive. So if we do something, let's do something silly. Um, let's do that and sort of come down and where is it? Let's just go down a bit more. All right. Trying to find stuff. Okay, yeah. And let's go up, and why not this one? And, you know, let's just polish off this wonderful expression with this. So uh, we can make these pretty silly sort of computer characters. So let's just swap views at the moment. But anyway, this is a bit cruel. So let's give this poor avatar a break and so swap to another one. So here we go. And this is another avatar. So it's all being driven in the same system. Can move the light around, you know, zoom right in on these. And with these avatars, we've got full control over their expressions as well. You know, make them do whatever you want. And we go to close up, so we can get quite sort of film quality effects in, in real time on these, and they're controllable in real time. So, and let's do a dental exam, seeing we had the, uh, the dental tool here, but that's what we need to look at this. So let's go check out our teeth and move the light around. There we go, and let's, oh, it's a bit of a funky expression. So, now the other thing with these models is that you can also, you know, let's accessorize them. So let's give her some glasses. There we go. So you've got, oh, it's a bit of a reflection in that one. I'll tilt the camera. So now what I'm going to do at the moment is um, I'm going to give her a, basically a gender, race, and age change in one go. Bam. Okay, there we go. Right, so, um, and we can sort of, same thing with his face, we can zoom right in, you know, do all kinds of, like, it's given a Bruce Lee sort of expression or whatever. So, now, coming back, we've got, you know, full control, so we can make a look at me, for example, and, you know, go back to here. Now, because these avatars, basically, you can make them say anything, so when it's connected to a text-to-speech engine, for example, if I go and, you know, like, and you can choose whatever language voice that you want to use. So let's give her, like, German. Willkommen in Deutschland. And then, you know, how about a little further east? So this is, that's using text-to-speech, so making the avatar say whatever you want. But then we can also use sort of canned content. Hello. Now, the fun thing is, is while she's doing this, we can totally mess with her expressions, you know. Now, you can change the meaning of what she's talking about. I understand. So... Yes. This no. 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 You know, there's one number changing the whole meaning of what she's saying. So this is what's missing from human-computer interaction, basically, is the power of the face. So, now... Now, as we, we, what we can basically do, too, is we can... Oh, yeah. oh, let's, um, I'll oh, yeah. stop her talking for a moment, and we can... I'm okay. fine. Okay, you be quiet. Okay, now the other thing is because she's got basically also can be driven by neural networks just like Baby X, what I'm going to do now is I'm pretty much going to, I'm going to just drop all these neurotransmitter levels. So basically in one fell swoop, I've given her severe depression. Um, but, but unlike people, we can fix it really fast. There we go. Okay, so let's start her talking again. And now we swap between faces. How can I help you? So, thank you. 
and we can keep going through. Drive. So this is like a 5D sort of thing. And you know, we can. I understand. Whoops, better not do that. Okay, yes. And um, now let's go and how should we finish off? Let's see. Um, I know. Let's do down here. Thank you.